Hey everybody, Josh here from Android Central, and uh, I must have been a good boy this year because Santa was kind enough to bring me an OnLive Universal wireless controller uh, by OnLive to work with the OnLive Android app that I reviewed not too long ago. I figured that we'd take a look at the controller just from a purely hardware perspective, and then I'll show you guys how it works uh, in conjunction with the app. So looking at the controller, it's a pretty standard controller layout. If any of you have ever used an Xbox 360 controller, it's nearly identical. Uh, we've got a four-way directional pad right here. Unfortunately, it's not the full circle uh, that gives you the, uh, the diagonal directions that you can rotate in. We've got two joysticks that both have a click function in them, a select button and a start button, and then in the middle is a big on-live button in the exact same spot that the uh, X in the Microsoft Xbox 360 logo is. Tap the buttons, uh, buttons will blink, same thing happens, it'll turn on. These lights will continue to scroll through as it searches for something to pair up with. When you pair this up with uh, an Android device, it uses Bluetooth and it'll automatically connect. This is connecting to my Toshiba Thrive that's in the living room right now. Uh, on the right side, pretty standard A, B, X, Y buttons in the familiar diamond shape that we're used to. And on top we have both uh, left and right bumpers and triggers. Um, the buttons feel alright. I would criticize the triggers as feeling a little bit gummy. They don't move quite as as fast or click as well as I've experienced on some other controllers. So that's a bit of a, a bummer. On the, uh, I guess the very bottom of the front of the controller, we've got the five telltale OnLive buttons that are also in the OnLive app if you're using touch controls, uh, back, record, whatever this up arrow is, play, pause, and forward. To get the controller into pairing mode, you turn the controller on, it'll be scrolling through the blinking lights, and then you can hold this up button and hold the power button, and you're good to go. Uh, in terms of how the battery works, uh, depending on what you purchase, I suppose, you can get either this rechargeable battery that is familiar to anybody who's also had an Xbox 360 controller, and there's also a uh, just a regular battery pack that you fit two AA's in and you have to replace every so often. On the top of the controller here is a micro USB port. That's how you recharge the rechargeable battery. You can also plug it into a computer. When I plugged it into mine, running Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, I uh, detected it as a USB input device, but it, unfortunately it did not work correctly with any of the games I tried to play. Um, Deus Ex Revolution, or Deus Ex Human Revolution, excuse me, and Sonic Generations both had a bit of issues just because these five extra buttons got read as some sort of additional input. But as far as the controller goes, feels really nice, feels solid in hand. Uh, I got pretty good battery life out of it, at least a day minimum of heavy gaming. So, now that we've got the controller all looked at, let's go take a look at how it works uh, running on Bluetooth with the OnLive Android app. So you can see that I've got Batman Arkham City loaded up uh, on the big screen now. HDMI cable from the Toshiba Thrive takes me right to the television, no problem. Uh, and moving around on the main menu, this is all done with the controller, uh, which is fine. Press the A button, hop into my game. And I'm taken to a loading screen similar to any PC or console dedicated version. And now that we're finally in game, I can show you how the controls really work. So, you know, you just tap the left joystick and Batman starts to walk. Hold the A button while you're moving and he runs. And it really, it feels great. Um, there's, there's no input lag, there's no delay. And so you're not ever at risk of, you know, losing because there's uh, some sort of glitch between the controller and the device. Uh, if you hit, you know, the left bumper, you'll get taken into detective mode, things like that. So it uh, looks like there's some bad folks here. Now that we're in a high pressure situation, uh, see if I can show off these great controls uh, to take down these bad guys, yeah? So that was one guy, and now I'll sneak behind these two guys. Boom. And that was all done using the OnLive 
wireless controller called Universal, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't seem to work with my PC. But as far as just having a controller to play games like this using OnLive, especially if you can get it on a big display like this, it feels almost exactly like you're using the console version. You're using an Xbox 360 or PS3 or your computer. And that to me is really cool. It's really immersive. The controller is really well built, familiar in your hands if you've ever used an Xbox controller. Um, and really just because there is no lag, there is no delay, and it's immediate on the screen as soon as you push a button, that is really what sells this controller. Uh, so OnLive, not so universal wireless controller, uh, buy OnLive, absolutely excellent controller.